All right, everybody, here's what we're doing. We're on the Delta. We got two bluegill out on two poles and a bloodworm out. We caught some bluegill before, uh, before we headed out. And then Jesus is gonna show you how to put a bloodworm on. Let me see, let me take a picture of that first. That's a bloodworm. Striper love long and skinny. And that thing's a monster. All right, Jesus. All right, so a blood one pretty much has two sides to it. Usually there's a skinny side, which this is the butt, and then there's a fat side. The fat side is where the head is. And they like, they have some freaking weird ass teeth that just come out and then they'll try and bite you on your finger or whatever, and it actually does hurt. So, which one do you want? This one? Yeah, the blue one. Pretty much. The way you want to hook up a blood worm. We like to use a six octopus hook. You can buy them pre-snailed or snail them yourself. We like to snail them ourselves. Basically you want to take the side where the head is, the fat side, and you want to put your hook in and you want to slide it till it covers the whole hook first. So there it is. Now bring your hook out and try and get this over the snail by just twisting it. Don't, try not to get bit. See that? You get bit with those. They got sharp teeth in there. Oh yeah, I was going to say move your fingers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There they are. Oh yeah. You see those four things? Those things will bite you. He's pissed off. The one thing creepy about worms, any kind of worm, is they're the fightiest, they're the strongest fighting little bastards you ever mess with and they're really creepy. So then you want to slide it up the line a bit and then hook in the rest. Start about halfway and then just work your way up the hook. Try and get as much, see that? That's why they're called blood worms. <laughs> I'll show you the floor in a second. <gasps> oh! Okay. Then. That baby squirted my ceiling. I don't know if you could see the blood blast on my ceiling there, which that bums me out. So basically, when the striper comes, it's going to want to inhale the whole thing, and you got your hook exposed at the bottom. So when you set the hook, it grabs them. All right. And that's how you hook a blood worm. Now we want to add some weight. Some pinch weights is fine. We're at, we're at the flood pipe, so it eventually just goes out on its own That's all right it. here's a, a picture of all the blood it's nasty blood worms are blood worms because they're bloody that's all there is to it they're bloody they're nasty and they bite 